Cedric Muhammad back, CEO of the Hip Hoppreneur with another turn the camera on question. Has social media helped or hindered entrepreneurship? Has social media helped or hindered entrepreneurship? The way that I came about this thought, I've been thinking about it for, for some time. Despite the relative uh, growth nominally of the economy, since 1994, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Small Business Administration, small business growth birth, scale, resulting in more people being hired by small businesses that had been in an upward trend up till about 1994. So small businesses still create business, uh, job growth rather, but not at the rate that they once did. So since 1994 to the present, small businesses have created less and less jobs over time, relatively speaking. So how could that be? And one of my thoughts is that the emergence of globalization as particularly marked by the internet, which you kind of see emerging around that time, mid to late 90s into the present, has had on one hand a very positive effect on the ability of a creative person to meet people, to get access to others, to have an inexpensive form of marketing and promotion. And so costs have gone down, relatively speaking, to start a business, the ability to meet people, to help finance your business, the ability to meet people, to grow your business, to help perform the work of your business. You know, freelancers, for, for instance, that you can find on Upwork 5, that's easier as never before. But I focus more on the emotional or the psychological side. I find that social media in some respects serves the role or, or performs the function of anesthesia. Like you get so much psychic income and applause and acknowledgement and approval that maybe it takes away from your drive to risk take, to be different, to be separated from a group, to be unique, to leave one kind of society in an online community and go into another one. So there's a form of what they call se separation anxiety that this Generation Z has really never experienced. They don't necessarily know what it feels like to grow up and leave people behind, not be able to communicate with them instantaneously. And so that's the other factor to think of has social media and our need to constantly know what's going on, our ability to constantly be in touch, the, the power to be connected and to transmit and project instantaneously, has it created a form of instant gratification that's now habitual. We expect that there to be no gap between a stimulus and a response. And so the psychic income that we once were able to get through achievement through doing something different, for thinking out of the box, for the long, hard struggle that it takes to create a business. And I wrote an entire chapter, 10 year anniversary of my book, The Entrepreneurial Secret. We devoted an entire chapter on the role that suffering plays on creativity. It's a positive impact that suffering can have from a social, theological, from a psychological standpoint. I look at that and people have always said that uh, Adversity can be the mother of creativity. So if that is the case and we rely on pain and silence to create, if social media takes away that kind of pain and removes that form of suffering, are we being less creative? So I want to hear your feedback. Answer to that question. Has social media helped or hindered entrepreneurship? Is there a connection between the decline in the rate of growth job creation wise from small businesses and from entrepreneurship and the rise of social media. Cedric Muhammad, CEO of The Hip Hoppreneur, visit thehiphoppreneur.com. I look forward to engaging with you on our social media platforms. Peace.